They have four now to have reached the Atlantic. The last was Alex Thompson, who finally passed the Cape Horn in solitary. But watch out for the Brit. He doesn't brag and is only a day and a half behind both leaders, François Gabard and Armel Lecléache, whose intentions are now starting to show upon their Atlantic's ascent. There are strategies that are slightly different, as Armel is a little closer to a straight route. What's in his mind? I have no idea. I imagine he wants to have as many options as possible. Trump cards in his hands. I have my strategic scheme in mind, and I know each way the file that comes in brings me new information. So following the general feel, I have my own trajectory figured out, and I'll try to adjust it as we go along. Leaders will need to keep an eye on their review mirror on the tall blonde man with the blue boat. A boat that's got its full potential back yesterday as Jean-Pierre was finally able to free his Grand Chanaker stuck since December 22nd. Si on est en haut, This time we're at the top and it's true it's quite high. Voilà. That's it. Climbing up the mast was perilous, but the defective part was replaced. Bernard Stamm obtained his case to be reopened by the jury, whose president, Bernard Bonneau, expressed his point of view at midday. Bernard Stamm's demand is based on the Russian boat's captain testimony in writing, which he hasn't yet written. So before making any final decision, the jury wishes to have in hand the complete elements, including this testimony, or at least its terms and content. All this seems complicated for him to obtain, but we decided to wait a little longer. In the meantime, the Swiss was today the fastest of the group's pursuers. 